All right. Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to celebrate Godzilla's birthday with a bang by teaching you guys how to do what Godzilla does best, which is make explosions, explosions, and more explosions. We're not going to blow up things, but instead make explosion effects. To start off, we are going to need acrylic paints, a paintbrush, a cup of water to wet the brush, some fiber fill cloth, and a piece of paper. So the idea here is we're going to paint the fiber fill cl cloth with colors that make up the explosion. Red, um, yellow, and any other colors in between. Also some black, gray, and white for the smoke. And then combine those fiber uh, painted fiber fill uh, together to make up a big explosion. In this case, we are painting this fiber fill orange. So uh, we're mixing the paints together to get the orange we want and then start painting. We'll do the same procedure uh, to produce yellow, red, gray, and black clouds. To paint the fiber fill, we'll stretch the fiber fill as thin as possible, place it on top of the sheet of paper, and then start dabbing the paint. Making long strokes will just deform the fiber fill and concentrate most of the paint in one area, so dabbing the paint works better. You also want to make the paint as thin as possible, so adding some more water to your paint mixture works better. You also have the options to cover both sides of the fiber fill or just one side. It really depends on the scene you are doing. All right? So once uh, you're done painting uh, the fiber fill, let it dry for at least uh, 15 minutes. So while, while you're uh, waiting for the paint to dry up, uh, you can paint some more uh, fiber fill with the same color before moving on to the next color. So once the uh, fiber fill uh, dries up, crumple it to the desired shape and then place it to your diorama. So next, we'll be making some debris or the sparks that are coming off the explosion. So to do this, we'll be needing some acrylic paint. You can use white or yellow and some monofilament fishing line. In this demo, we are using a 20 pound monofilament fishing line cut into two to three inches in length. We dip it in the tip of the we dip the tip of the line on the acrylic paint, and then uh, depending on the scene, uh, you can use white or yellow, and then let it dry for at least 15 minutes. So once dry, stick the line onto the fiber fill uh, to make the desired uh, explosion debris effect, just like that. For the smoke effect. The process of painting the fiber fill is the same as earlier. So uh, we're going to mix the paints to the desired color, add some water to make the coating uh, thinner, and then finally dab the paint to the fiber fill and let it dry for 15 minutes. So again, while waiting, you can paint some more uh, fiber fill of, with the same color before moving on to the next color. Once the fiber fill dries up around 15 minutes, you can crumple it to the desired shape and again place it to the diorama and and uh, uh, to make that desired uh, smoke effect and there you have it reusable easy to uh, install explosion effects for your diorama so that's it folks uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel, uh, follow us on Facebook at The Hobbyist, and thank you guys for watching. Happy Godzilla Day, and I will see you guys soon. Peace!